This is my favorite sun bunny, fresh back from the land of law. What do you mean? I've been back for weeks. Yup, but you haven't shared. Last I remembered, we had sun, surf, sand, and Kendall. How'd it go? Well, I'd rather hear about that dealer that you took down. Ah, I don't want to brag too much about that. You know, basically you're crazed drug lord, dead Frankie, Angie, Jesse, free to live a normal life. Colby, once again, safe to shop the mall scenario. All in all, pretty satisfying piece of work. So it looks like the good guys won. Looks like. And? What do you mean, and? That's not enough. Why do you work? I'm just sitting there tying up some loose ends between my new uncle and the FBI. I didn't know you had an uncle. Yeah, well, that's another story. Now it's your turn. Come on. I want details. Tell me about the Zach Kendall thing. What do you mean, thing, thing? What, what is that? What do you mean, what do I mean, thing, thing? What is that? The, 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 the security detail thing. Well, I might take you on full turn. Is Ryan that much of a problem? No, Zach asked me if I was interested in, you know, coming on board full time. Fish and chips. Say it's not so. Are you breaking up with me? No, in a, no serious office yet, daddy is boy. I'm glad to hear it. So, um... How's Kendall feel about all this? Well, didn't come up. And you? Aiden. Feel like Chinese? I don't know. Do you feel like telling me what you got yourself into? How fabulous are we? Thanks to us, these bottles of harm perfume will never hit store shelves. Yeah. I mean, the way we all pitched in, you, me, Ryan, and Aiden, it was amazing. Stores are happy, customers are happy, we're happy. I mean, not happy, happy. I guess you could say it worked like a charm. <laughs> oh, come on, Annie, we have to work together. You're mad at me, I get that, but we've got to stay on top of things for Kendall. With poor Erica missing, we... Poor Erica! Come on, Greenlee, I'm the only one here. So stop pretending you care. Hey, Opal, you know what? I have to go. Someone's at the door. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I hope it's the answer to my prayers, too. Bye. And Carmen Morales escaped when their transport van crashed. Authorities believe one of the women is armed and they're heading to the Chicago area. We'll have... Eric is on the land. Have you spoken to Jack? Jack's is on top of it. But, you know, uh, Kendall might need somebody to peel her off the ceiling. Well, she has a husband for that. You know, you never answered my question. Uh, are we really back to that? Yeah, we're back to that. Because when you left for Los Angeles with Kendall, you wouldn't even share the SPF with her. And now you're considering long-term employment. Yeah. Jack, Jack asked me if I was interested, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I didn't, say, didn't say whether I'd do it or not. You're not saying a whole lot of things. It's just a job, Thaddeus. A job. I'm helping out friends. Kind of friends. That's it. Kind of friends. Those were your words about Kendall before you left, right? Is there a problem? Well, not for me. It's you I'm worried about, right? Well, don't be. Don't be. Okay. Let's review, shall we? We have Zach. We have Kendall. We have Ryan. We have Andy. We have Raymond. Husbands, lovers, wives, exes. Oh, and let's not forget healthy dose of memory loss just to make things interesting and right in the middle of it is you so I just got one question for you slightly curious how long do you actually think it's gonna be before somebody loses it and everything goes kablooey I do care about what happens to Erica Good for you. And I care about you too, Annie. 
I, I didn't at okay, first, but we have a lot of work to do, really. What are you doing? What I said last night, I'm sorry, okay? It just came out. I'm sorry that I told you I kissed Ryan. I'm sorry that I told you it was my idea for him to pretend to remember you. You want more sorries? Because I'll keep them coming. How clueless at least. are you, Greenlee? It's not what you said, it's what you did. Would try to help you? How would you feel if Ada lied to you? He wouldn't. Are you sure? What if it was to help you or make you feel better? You'd be okay with that? Totally blowing this out of proportion. I just wanted to give you and Ryan a little kickstart. Did you really think I wouldn't figure it out, Greenlee? Ryan would just keep coming up with all these phony memories, describing all these pictures in our albums, or reciting all the right words, and I wouldn't feel the oh, truth. All right, all right, it was a bad idea. Okay, I am sorry for the advice, for the kiss. Oh, right, there's the kiss. Uh, there's always that. Everyone is experimenting with different ways to snap Ryan out of this, for him and for you. No, that kiss was not about me. It was about you. You kissed Ryan because you still want him. I heard about your mom. Yeah. May I, uh, come in? Sure. Oh. Is Jack home? No, actually, he went to pick up Jack from the airport to bring him to the police station. Which is probably where you want to be. I could give you a ride over there if you want. No, it's okay. I was actually sent home so I could sit and wait by the phone in case my mom calls. But the truth is, I think they just didn't want me to freak out at the police station. Ah, I see. Because you could do that here just fine. It shows. <laughs> well, yeah, I know you a little bit. So, come on, a friend could help. Maybe we could just talk or something. Or not talk. Just have some coffee. Or no coffee and hang out with Spike and Ian. No. You know why? Because they're sleeping. No. Hopefully they're sleeping. Oh. Yeah, it's nap time. Speaking of Spike, look what I picked up on the way over. Oh, yeah, this I love up. this. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Spike will love it. Oh. Hello? No, we already have a subscription. Thank you. Zach told me last night that I should just hang on to things and, and just focus on the future and, and think six months from now everything's going to be fine. My mom's going to be out of prison and everything will be normal again. And I could do that. I mean, that I could focus on and, and hang on to that. But now she's got this crazy woman who's dragging her around, taking her God knows where. Erica is going to have this woman turning herself in in no time, okay? I guarantee you, whoever this person is, she is no match for your mom. I like the way you think. But the van crashed, Ryan. My mom could be hurt. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. <clears throat> well, you're not alone. I'm going to give this to Spike when he wakes up. Kendall, that wasn't a move to, I, you know... I, I know that, Ryan. Which is why you're halfway across the room? No, Pardon? I'm just... I'm, I'm cleaning you're up the toys. You're me, is what you're doing. No, I'm really not, okay? I promise you. Aiden's not gonna pop out of the closet and bounce me out of this place, is he? No, actually, he's not. Okay, good. Good, because I, I know what year it is, okay? I do. I know you and me, and we're just friends. I know that. Right? I know Zach may have some issues with me still, and I understand that completely, but the only reason that I'm here right now, the only reason, is just to help you. <laughs> I don't want Ryan. Right, if you say so, must be true. I'm so sorry I put my lips on his. You know what, this isn't even the first time you kissed Ryan since you got back to town. That was a long time ago, totally different. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. Last time you kissed him to help him remember how much he loved you. This time you kissed him to help him remember how much he loves me? Stop, Annie. Okay, it was a completely innocent kiss. Is that how Aiden feels about it? He doesn't mind at all you kissing your ex-husband? We trust each other. 
Then why didn't you tell him? It never came up. You know, we really need to get to these invoices. Wow. Ian must be really understanding. He didn't seem so understanding last night. Don't worry about us. Aiden and I will be fine. Hmm. Unless, of course, he's forgotten you. Maybe I should step in, kiss him, jog his memory. Or hell, you know what? Maybe I should take him to bed. See if that'll help him remember you. <laughs> You're looking for something that just isn't there. Mate. There is so much there, I don't even know where to begin. Damn. You want a shot? No. You're fine. You haven't made too much fun by yourself. Oh, come on. What do you want from me? You're protecting Zach's wife, your ex-lover. You know, from Ryan, who is her ex-lover, who, by the way, was married to your girlfriend, Greenlee, who just happens to be Kendall's, you know, best friend and business associate. And they both...